Well, we begin today in chapter 25 with the death of Samuel. Wow, can you imagine that? An era has come to an end here. But this chapter is mostly about the story of Abigail and David. Abigail's husband, who is very foolish, his name is Nabal, which means fool in Hebrew. Uh, David and his men have been protecting uh, Nabal. He has uh, thousands of sheep, a thousand goats. Uh, he, the men of David, they've been protecting this man in the wilderness, and now the time has come for some kind of compensation. Instead of actually uh, giving that compensation, uh, Nabal is very disrespectful to messengers sent from David. He says, who is David? Who's the son of Jesse? A lot of, a lot of people roaming around right now. Why should we give up our things, my meat, my uh, produce? Why, why should we give that to just somebody who comes along? Now, this is ridiculous. Um, it, it, it could sort of sound right. You know, it's, it's private property. This is mine. What are you, threatening me? You're some kind of warlord bullying me? If we think about it that way, we're clearly not seeing it right. I t I'll tell you, the way we know that is that Nabal's own servants come to Nabal's very wise wife, Abigail, and one of them explains, look, these men were good to us. Uh, they, we suffered no harm from them. They protected us during all the time we were in uh, the wilderness. Uh, they were like a wall to us by day and by night. In other words, they... They really made a difference to us. And the normal, apparently cultural way of, of recognizing that is to be generous to them once the day of prosperity comes. They're, they're out there in need. They're hungry. You need to provide for them. So, you see, this servant gives us insight into what the cultural context is here. And we realize, okay... Nabal has put the whole family and all of the servants in grave danger because of his disrespectful actions. And now David and his men, they are perhaps on their way to slaughter uh, the whole of Nabal's household. Uh, and, and that, in fact, is what's happening. But Abigail, being a wise woman, she, she gets right into action amazingly. So she's got all this stuff that she's put together as a present for um, for David and his men and meets them along the way. When they're on their way to slaughter the whole group, she meets them and she, she uh, is very respectful in the way that she approaches David, in everything that she says. She also recognizes that David is a servant of the Lord. Um, she she says this. I think it's interesting. She says, "May the lives of uh, the lives of your enemy may the Lord sling out as from the hollow of a sling." Well, that's an interesting reference. You know, the sling. It's as if she said, "Look, I know, I know what's been happening with you and the Lord, and we want to be on board with this, despite, unfortunately, my very foolish husband, who, by the way." is, you know, drunk, and his wife comes to see him, finds him drunk, and doesn't explain that at that moment what she's done because she's gone to David and made made peace with David. David has been very appreciative of her and said, you know, surely everybody would have been dead if you hadn't come out here. So the, what happens is in the morning when he's not drunk anymore, now his wife Abigail explains to Nabal everything that happened, and he is overcome by fear. He realizes what a foolish thing he's done. He's, he's struck by God. It's what the text really tells us. He says his heart died within him, and he became as a stone. And about 10 days later, the Lord struck Nabal, and he died. So then there's a call from David once he finds out about this, and he uh, 
basically proposes to Abigail and she becomes one of his uh, wives. Uh, and she says, Behold, your handmaid is a servant to wash the feet of the servants of my Lord. And so that is what took place. And I think we have to realize that when the, when someone comes from the Lord who is anointed by God for his purposes, we need to serve him. Uh, we need to serve such a, a person. Let us pray. Father, when we hear uh, the call of of your voice to us, we want to re- we want to make sure we don't refuse you. Your Son Jesus has done a great work of blessing upon us. Is it too much when He calls us to ask that we might serve Him well? Oh Lord, we will serve Jesus. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.